Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for your one-stop shop of buying or selling coins and solo grinding services. Use code ZERK at checkout for 10% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best players to use the tier 1 and the tier 2 pass on. So we have the 80 to 82 overall power pass and the 83 to 85. There's a lot of different players I think you can kind of pair this with and there's even like some combinations you can do with this as well. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this and if you guys want to see any other power passes, I just did the 92 to 93. So if there's any more that you guys want to see me go back to do, make sure let me know down below. Let's get into it. Starting off, we're going to go with one of my favorite receivers in the game, Amari Cooper. So, of course, he has an 82 overall base elite. Now, it's only an 82 and 82 overall. None of these cards are going to be very expensive, but it'll just save you a little bit of coinage. So, 82 Amari Cooper, of course, if you're using this card strictly for it, it's got 84 speed, 81 jumping. It's not the best, best card. But the main reason with these 80 to 82s and even the 83 to 85s at this point is to basically just go for better cards. So with 82 Amari Cooper, you're saving coins with him. Then you have to go ahead and pick up his 87 overall team of the week, which of course you can use a power pass for that one as well if you want to or buy that. And then you can get the limited time card Amari Cooper with training points, which of course I actually have that Amari Cooper on the team. I gotta say... One of the best receivers in the game. I think it's between him and Randy Moss. I've seen a lot of people say he's probably like the best receiver in the game between him and Moss. I personally definitely agree. I think he's better than the Jerry Rice card. He plays super, super good. So, of course, using the 80 to 82 overall power pass on his base elite and then progressively going through as your team gets better, pick up the 87, and then eventually with training points, 17,000 training points, he's looking about 500,000 coins worth of training, pick up his 95 overall limited time team of the week with those training points. Next up is going to be one guy that I know I had way before, like at the beginning of this year. Landon Collins was definitely on my list for this, and he's going to remain here. Landon Collins, 82 overall card if you're just starting out. Still a pretty solid save. He's got 86 hit power, 82 speed, 84 excel. Again, you're going to want to just keep increasingly getting better cards. So he has 87 overall flashback with 84 speed, 86 excel, 92 hit power. I think I actually have uh, his 90 overall. Yeah, I do have his 90 overall on the team currently. I'm not using it just because I, I have some other safeties. But I definitely like Landon Collins, his 87 overall flashback. Then he has a 90 overall Night Guardian. So there's a lot of different steps in this Landon Collins. You can progressively keep going as your team gets better. And then right now he has a 93 overall zero chill card in the game as well, which he's got 89 speed, 91 excel, so he's not, you know, the fastest eight in the game. But he does have 94 hit power, 91 zone coverage, 92 tackling. That's a very, very physical safety. Landon Collins for the 80 to 82 power pass. Next up is going to be Eddie Jackson. So, of course, Eddie Jackson has an 81 overall, which you can use the power up pass on. He's got 86 speed, 88 acceleration, 82 hit power with a 75 zone, 73 man, and a 68 tackling. So, he has that 81 overall card. Then, of course, he has a 90 overall harvest edition, which you can use the 90 to 91 overall power pass on. Then he gets his 95 overall NFL playoff card, which, in my opinion, is really, really good. He's got 93 hit power, 93 zone, 89 man, 90 pursuit, 94 play rank, 83 tackling with a 91 speed and a 93 acceleration. He's also six feet tall with an 84 catching, which is very, very good. Uh, he also has a block shed of a 71. So I definitely love Eddie Jackson's cards. He's an absolute playmaker. So if you get his 81 overall, upgrade to the 90, upgrade the 95, you're looking at a very, very good safety. So my final pick for the 80 to 82 overall power pass is going to be Christian McCaffrey. He's actually one of the more expensive 82 overalls. He's currently going for about 13,000 coins. He's got 85 speed, 86 acceleration with a 74 catch, an amazing trucking of 50, and a 90 agility. So a very good third down back, or you can put him in basically all the time, Christian McCaffrey. Now, on to the 83 to 85 overall power pass, and this is kind of why I went with McCaffrey here, because you can actually pair both of the passes with... Christian McCaffrey. McCaffrey has an 82 and he has an 84 overall team of the week. So if you have both of them, you can just use them both and you get Christian McCaffrey up to an 85. He's got 87 speed, 88 excel, 92 agility, 74 break tackle, a little bit better truck at uh, 52. That's amazing. And a 76 catching. But he also has a 90 overall team of the week, which I actually have a gameplay up with this card. And it was actually like a really, really good card. It still is a pretty solid card. 
He's got 94 agility, 90 elusiveness, 61 trucking, amazing truck, 82 break tackle, 83 catch, 90 speed, 91 excel. Now, not only is it 90, but he also has a 95 overall Ghost of Madden, which again, I actually have a gameplay up with this one too. Uh, 95 Christian McCaffrey, he's got 93 speed, 94 excel, a respectable truck at 72, still means you probably can't truck anybody. 88 break tackle, 95 elusiveness, and a 96 agility, and his catching goes all the way up to an 85. So Christian McCaffrey is really a card you can have all year long. He's got an 82, has the 84, then he has a 90 and a 95. So Christian McCaffrey definitely has to be on this list. And obviously with the 83-85 power of pass, I gotta go with Tyreek Hill. I believe Tyreek was actually my pick for my power of pass. He's currently going for about 35,000 coins, somewhere around there. And per usual, Tyreek Hill has this card. He also has an 89 overall team of the week. And then he has his 93 Blitz edition, which with John Madden and with Sprinter and Powered Up for me, he has 99 speed. It's Tyreek Hill, kick returner, punt returner, slot receiver. You already know. Next up is going to be Joey Bosa. Now, of course, Bosa is one of the best pass rushers in the game. He has the campaign card as well. Joey Bosa, 85 power move, 89 finesse. Move. That is quite a pairing for just an 85 overall card with 72 speed, 79 excel. Then, of course, he has the campaign card. He also has a 92 overall harvest edition with 91 power move and 94 finesse move. That's a crazy good card. 86 strength, 79 speed, 86 acceleration, and he just got a playoff captain with 94 power move and 96 finesse with 82 speed at excel. So again, another card that has a lot of different progressions that you can increasingly get as your team gets better. Start off with 85, complete the campaign solos, go with Bosa, then pick up his 92, and finally pick up his 95 overall playoff card. Next up is 85 overall Deion Jones. Now, of course, Deion Jones also has a campaign card, so I recommend you go with that one when you're going through the campaign solo challenge. You can also use training points instead of picking up the campaign card, but Deion Jones used the 83 to 85 overall power up pass, and then, of course, has the 94 overall primetime performer, actually 93, powered up to 94. Doesn't cost a lot of training points to get him, and the card is still really good. He's got 89 speed, 90 excel, 81 block shed, 91 hit power, 89 zone coverage, Great coverage, great hit power, great speed. He's six foot one, definitely a beast of a user middle linebacker. So if you'd like to use your middle linebacker, and even if you don't, because he has such good zone coverage once he gets up to this, even the 85 with 81 zone is not terrible. I definitely recommend picking up Deion Jones for your team. And then eventually I'm sure he'll get some other sort of card later in the year. And that card might just end up being like a top three, top four middle linebacker at the end of the game. Now, of course, if you're an Eagles fan or maybe you just want some tight end help, a guy that can definitely catch a ball is Zach Ertz, 84 overall. He's got 88 catching, 87 catching traffic, 84 spectacular catch. This card definitely cannot run block very well to 57, and he's a little bit slow at 75 speed. But, again, he does also have a primetime performer, which I have to pick up with training points or a power pass. And he has a 95 overall team of the week card with 96 catch. 95 catching traffic, 93 spectacular catch. Look at the route running, 95 and 94. That's crazy good. He actually has a respectable run block at 74 and an okay speed at 85 speed. So again, he was basically prime time performer and then the team of the week, Zach Ertz. Now, if you guys need a coverage outside linebacker, Telvin Smith is definitely a great pick. He's going for around 30,000 coins. You can see he's got 81 speed, 82 acceleration. He has 85 block shedding as well with 84 tackling, 88 play rec. The man has a zone coverage on an 85 overall card of a 75 with a hit power of an 82. Not too bad. He also has a 91 overall master, which you will have to get or use the power pass on, whichever one you want to do. Uh, but he has 91 block shed on this card with 85 speed, 86 excel. And then he also has a prime time performance. Once again, you will have to use, you know, power pass. Uh, well, actually, there isn't a 94 overall power pass yet in the game. But you have to use training points or buy him up the auction block with 95 play rec, 93 block shedding on a coverage linebacker is really, really good. And of course, he has his own coverage of an 84. So if you want an outside linebacker, and I say you can even use him. He's got 88 speed, 89 excel, six foot three. If you want to use him, if you want to leave him out there, Definitely a great pick. Now, my next pick is going to be Mike Evans. Now, the reason I'm actually going with Mike Evans, he does have this card, and he has a 91 overall primetime performer. 
I actually have a little theory. I think he's going to get a team of the year card. So I think his basically might end up shooting up in price just a little bit more than he already is at. Uh, Mike Evans is currently going for about, it looks about 25,000 coins around there. So 84 Mike Evans, got 80 speed, 87 jump, 86 foot 5. This card doesn't look amazing. He's got good jump, good spec catch. Besides that, not really else. And then he has the 91 overall prime time perform, which you can pick up with training points or power pass. I recommend probably the training points though, because it really doesn't cost that much. Uh, for how much it actually takes to get him and then of course if he gets a team of the year he's gonna get like a 95 overall more than likely and that card would be absolutely amazing when it comes to jump balls and my final choice for the 83 to 85 world power of pass is going to be Adrian Amos. As you guys can see, he's an 84 overall. He's got 87 speed, 86 excel, 83 hit power, and an 83 zone with 83 player and 82 pursuit. He also has an 89 overall team diamond card, which I had this card for the longest time with 88 hit power, 89 zone coverage, 90 speed, 89 excel, 83 man. And then finally, he has a 93 overall, which I am currently using I believe my 8385 power pass is in fact on him. I, I'm pretty sure it's on him. But of course, I put Sprinter on him, so you guys know I plan on keeping him all year long. He's got 93 speed, 92 excel, 94 zone, 93 hit power. Kind of hoping he gets a team of the year upgrade. That'd be absolutely amazing. But those are my picks for the tier one and the tier two power passes, 80 to 82, and the 83 to 85 overall power of pass. So hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe and comment. Let me know down below what other players you guys think you could possibly use these power passes on. I didn't have a ton of choices for the 80 to 82. It doesn't really save you a lot. I mean, most cards go for like 10,000 coins or so, but... It does help if you guys are trying to go through someone and just get a bunch of different cards. Like Christian McCaffrey has the tier one and the two tier two uh, power pass. You guys can use it on. So I feel like that one might be the best overall pick. Uh, but I definitely do like for the 83 to My personal favorite, probably Adrian Amos. I really, really like this card. But hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys next time.